Good evening, designers, and welcome to episode 58 of Game of Rugs. Uh, so today we're going to look at some scores, and then we're going to see how much time has gone by, and then we are going to see what happens, because honestly, I've had quite a lot of champagne, and what happens may be that I fall asleep and go to bed. Um... Today, in the course of events, uh, I, following on from yesterday's all-time high of 4.7, actually hit 4.72. And my little score up there sat on 4.72 for half the day, and I kept thinking... I should run upstairs and record while it is a 4.72 because God knows that won't last. Uh, but I got distracted by, you know, real life. And then when I looked again, it was a 4.68 and then it went up to a 4.69 and God knows what's happening in here. Let us find out. So the first one is Pastel Pink Perfection. That is shocking. I am shocked. I'm shocked for several reasons. One, this is a pink room that was clearly begging for items from the Sweet Blush bundle to be used in the decor, and I did not buy that bundle, and I did not use any of those items. Um, so I'm very surprised to get a score this high without using the intended bundle. Second of all, I'm not very good at kids' rooms, and this room is not very interesting. And third of all, uh, other people who do kids' rooms are better at them because they tend to make them... They have some magical ability to make them look fuller and more fun, and I do not. So... That's a big surprise. Okay, I love this dresser, and thank you very much. That is great. I am very happy with that prize. Um, so that is a 4.89. That is crazy, crazy. Let's look at the fives. This is way more what I sort of anticipated seeing. People really go all out for kids' rooms. I mean, the people who like them love them, and they have just stockpiles of completely adorable things to put in them, none of which I have. Um, oh my god, you guys, look at how cute that is. I love sock monkeys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I am actually unable to comprehend that my score is only 0.11 points from this one. I think really I just got very lucky. By the way, did people see how cute this quilt crib is? The ends are quilted or tufted. That crib has been purchased by a mother or a father with a housekeeper. So what else is going on? There are these, which this room is using the bundle. It's also using a whole stockpile of super cute pink stuff. It's using a side table in which your learning to crawl infant will definitely get its head stuck. This baby play gym is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, so these are all really good. This one is the only one that seems to be different, really, in any way. It does use, I mean, they're calling it the Little Lamb Plush, but it's like, it's the Pokemon sheep. This is the Pokemon of sheep. It's so cute. Um, this room is very unusual for a five. The only rooms I've really seen the butterfly prints 
consistently score well in is nurseries. I have gotten a five using a butterfly print once. Obviously, it was a surprise. And this pink seems um, quite out of character for the room, although the color was used in a lamp. This lamp, and it was used in this stool. Um, I just am surprised to see that color brought in there. Anyway, there's all kinds of cute stuff in those rooms. Okay, then they carried on with the pink because the next room is a pink statement, which I know is a daily because everybody has been complaining that their scores were rubbish. As Lish, who comments on this YouTube channel, frequently pointed out recently, the dailies are the most competitive because everybody who's playing Design Home participates. So the scores tend to be a lot lower for dailies than uh, they are for other things. I've won this chair, which is exactly like another chair from Joybird in the same color that I already own. Um, my room was, uh, you know, not great. It was not great. But there it is. 4.37 seems like a very fair, if not generous, score to me. Um, the ones, the rooms that won, uh, that painting is from the bundle, the rug is from the bundle. I don't know uh, if, I think, like, I keep seeing these magnolias. Were they part of the bundle? Yes, they were. Okay. Uh, so there are a lot of bundle things in this room. But, you know, Design Home is a business. It's there to make money. I don't have a problem at all if they create rooms that are designed to push the bundle that they're in the business of selling. That seems perfectly fine to me. And look, here is a five that didn't use anything from that bundle. Like that's, you know, you can still do well without buying into the bundles. Uh, oh, hey, I never noticed that. Look, this floor decor, purple pampas grass, matches this uh, Sakura tree. They're super similar. Um, and there's also, I've never seen this before. So those are cute. I don't know if there's anything knock your socks off going in there. I mean, it's all pink. It looks alike. But you, I don't know what, really what to say. Except that my score was too high for what I delivered, probably. All right, but so I'm just backing up. So when I got this 4.89, this is when my score hit a 4.72. So that was the highest it's ever been. And then I got this craptastic 4.37, even though it's fair. And that's when my score dropped down to 4.69. And I wonder what that... Oh! Okay! Wow! Uh, for this room, I used... Some of the leftover stuff, I guess, I felt like I was using the leftover stuff from this Uptown Sleek room. This is another room I thought was designed uh, to sell the bundles that were available. Uh, but I, I just used my leftover stuff from having bought the bundle for our experiment in the previous episode. So I used this chair and I used some floor decor. And I used the plant stand in the corner. Um, and I put together a room that I thought was nice-ish. I did not expect a five. I will say I don't feel like this is that deserved. This feels more like a 4.37 to me. Um, but I am super happy to have won this rug. That's a really nice very useful rug. Um, yeah. Okay. So everybody else who got fives did spectacular rooms way better than mine. This room by a designer named tag is glorious. This room is glorious. 
those chairs and the chair and couch perfectly coordinate with the logs on the wall. The art that she's chosen is natural wood. The planter, my God, you guys look, the planters are also natural wood. I have never in my life seen this cocktail table. It is magnificent. This room is to die for. And these Peninsula Home stools are absolutely perfect. They're perfect. And it is all brought together by the coffee table, which is mixing the brown and the black. And that's what allows the black rug to work so well because they're a reflection of the black tiles on the wall. This room is an outstanding five. Oh my God, look at the lamp even. So, so good. I love this room. Um, here's a black and white room. Here's another black and white room. There are black and green rooms. There's nothing new in this design, and it doesn't reference the wood in any way, so I don't like it as much. Um, you could take this black and white design with its green art and stick it in any number of rooms. And indeed, we have seen that combination previously in Design Home many, many times. Uh, not so much this. I do like this wall art. It was an interesting choice. It's just none of this is as good as that first one that we looked at. Uh, but frankly, they're all better than mine. This is the second best one because the gold is at least referencing the natural wood tones. But honestly, this, this room is spectacular. It's so well designed. Okay, so we've done that. And this is the last one. I don't know if the, I'm, am I supposed to be expecting my score to go up? Is it supposed to go down? This was, what was my score there? It was holding steady at 4.72, so this must be a lower score. Well, I mean, that seems fine. That's a perfectly reasonable score for a perfectly reasonable room that is in no way distinguished and frankly looks a lot like everybody else's room who did not use the sweet pink bundle. Um, here's a room which is a pink sweet bundle, a sweet pink bundle dump. Um, I do like the touch of the shoes and the handbag on the floor, and it's a nice choice of a chair and uh, ottoman. Uh, it, this all is beautifully coordinated. It's a nice choice of a bed. It's a good. It's a good job. That is a good job. I do not mean to be throwing shade. Um, here's another one. Less, so many people used to this bed. I saw virtually nothing but this bed in voting. This is a nice room as well. Um, but, you know, they're all using the bundle and stuff from the bundle, which is fine. Um, but it's not you know, invigorating. You don't look at a room and, and, and end up thrilled to your socks because this is, is very creative design. They're all very, very nice. Okay, so this one is the only one that's slightly different because it's using coral instead of pink. It's using nothing from the bundle, and it's the only one I see in those top scores where that is the case. Uh, is that true? Was this one? This one is also not using bundle stuff. Unless this came out of the bundle. I don't know if you could buy it separately. Those are pretty. I would like to be level 51 because I would like to be able to buy those. Aw. Okie dokie. Well, what else is going on? I have nothing. I'm working on a, um, yeah, thanks. I'm working on the Seattle room and I am curious whether I will be able to, uh, a black Lux sideboard, a red DWR sofa and five Modloff items 
in order to win 250 diamonds. So that's not bad. I don't think I have it. I, can, I know I can borrow the sofa. Do I have a black lock sideboard? I do not. Which is unfortunate because if I owned that, I do have the matching coffee table and side tables. So that would make for a super cute room, but I got nothing. I have nothing. So I will not be participating in this one. Um, I am interested in this. This was new today. A West Elm thing. This is so weird to me. West Elm and Street Easy present the New York City Holiday House at 80 East 10th Street. Okay, I grew up at 23 East 10th Street. I know exactly where that is. Uh, that's so weird. Anyway, I think there's a series on in Design Home, and if you enter any of them, you can get 10 dollars off a purchase of twenty dollars at westelm.com as i no longer live in new york city or indeed the united states of america i will be giving my coupon to my sister and she can buy a kleenex with it it'll be a very tasteful kleenex be very modern quite trendy um yeah that is, by the way, not the view from 20, from 80 East 10th Street. Oh, maybe it is. That might be the revort. Anyway, okay, sorry. There I am, historic New York City nostalgia that nobody else cares about. Did I mention the bottle of champagne? That seems like a good note to leave on because I have stopped making sense if I was making any to begin with. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, happy anniversary to all of us because indeed my husband and I are celebrating our anniversary this evening. And um, if you enjoyed this episode, I don't know why you would have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see future episodes, which very likely will be better, feel, feel free to become a subscriber. I would love to have you. Thanks so much. Bye.